Area of triangles. Easy definition of triangle. A polygon that has three sides. So, so you know. Uh, that's a triangle. That would be a triangle. That's a bigger triangle. That's a small triangle. That's a tiny triangle. That's another triangle. Here's another one right here. We got one that's like... like, like, like that. Those are... These are all triangles. And then we have cheese wedge triangle. And then we have that triangle there. And then a really skinny triangle. And then we can also have a really big one. But that's another triangle there. We'll just make it really one right there. Okay, so those are all triangles. And then, uh, again, with area... Area is the number of square units needed to cover a surface by enclosed geometric figure. Now, not only did I say that, oh, I don't have it here anymore. So, here, area. I think I'm going to name this guy Steve. And according to Steve, area is. Area. The number of square units needed to cover a surface enclosed by a geometric figure. Thanks, Steve. So, Steve says the same thing I do. Alright, so back to area. And again, area is just all the wonderful stuff on the inside, because you know what? It's what's on the inside that matters most. Alright, so let's go to triangles. Now, we're going to develop the formula for triangles first. Now, we figured out something with squares last time. So, I mean, we can easily make this a square. Do, 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 do. Do square. There's our square. And we know that with a square. Is uh base times height. And we know with this square we got one, two, mm, this should actually be parallelogram, but I don't feel like writing parallelogram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know that the height is eight. It's a weird H, but it's an H. And that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we know that the uh, base, yes, it's up here, but it's the base. I can turn the whole thing around. It's the base equals eight. So we know that area equals base times height. So that area equals eight times eight, not 88, eight times eight. So area equals 64. Well, that's all fine and dandy. We just found out the area of the entire wonderful thing is, you know, 64. Yay! But we're not talking about squares. We're talking about triangles. But I'm just going to put that the area is 64 for the square. Alright, so what do we got to do? Well, what we know, what we've been told is that, you know, a square with this, and a triangle should be half a square. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the height of the triangle is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got eight here. Still eight, so I don't know. What shall we do next? I gotta do something. Really quick. Hold on. All right. So I wanted to pause it so I can add all this real quick. What I did was I counted up all the whole squares on the side of the triangle, on this side of the perp the Mason Dixon line here, um, and I found I found out that there's 28 whole squares over here. So I labeled it with the black dot, 28 whole squares, and then the blue dots here represent the 28 whole squares here, and then they share these. But since they're cut right in half, we know that each one of these squares here that are in the red boxes are half. Half on the red side, half on the black side here. So what we could say is that this here, this green one here, and this green one here would represent one whole one on the blue side. And then we have a green one here, and this green one here would represent another whole one. Then this green one here, and then this green one here would represent another whole one. And last but not least, we have this green one, and this green one, which would last, would make another hole for a total of one, two, three, four, four extra. So now we have 28 blue dots, plus the four green, four total green, and we end up with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
carry the one. We got the three, 32. So we know that there are 32 whole, oh, see, I failed kindergarten there, colored outside the lines. Whole dots here, or not whole dots, whole uh, boxes. All right, so everything green, there's 32 of them in there. And we figured out the area of the square was 64, and by my calculations, um, I, I know that 32 is half of 64. So what does that mean? Well, we, we did all this to, to figure out that all we had to do was simply go back to our original, you know, triangle here and, and count how tall it is, uh, height here. Is, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, and you know, the, this, the base here is from here to here. That's a straight line. Is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, and we know that eight times eight is 64. And then what we learned before is, well, all we got to do is divide this in half and the area of our triangle is 32 units squared. So that's all we figured out was in order to find the area of any triangle, we just got to go to the base times the height, whatever that is, divided in half. That's what we found out. So let's try it on a more oddly shaped triangle, even though three-sided figures can't really be that odd. And let, let's learn. Let, let's use what we learned. All right. So now, base is easy. Right here. Right here. Is that's not a straight line either. It's the base. So we know it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have the height. This is another one. The height again is uh, perpendicular to the base. Here's our base perpendicular. So the actual height of this triangle would be from here to here. Usually we, we actually write it from here to here. So that would be the height. And we know it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I could rearrange things, cut things up on this triangle so that this is the height, but we know that's the height. So base times height divided by two. Base is nine. Times the height, which is six, which is nine times six. Anybody? Bueller, 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 Bueller. It's 54. Yes, good, good. And then we gotta just, you know, divide that into half. And 54 divided by two. We got the two there. Five with 14 left over is 27. 27 units squared. I just wrote really tiny right there. And that's it. That's all we found out. We found out that when we do area of a triangle, it's just simply area equals base times height divided by two. And that's it. And bye-bye.